All right, haven't posted a homebrew Wednesday video in a couple weeks. My apologies. Hopefully this video here will make up for it. I have decided to do an experiment. Um, many people have heard me rave about dry yeasts and uh, I, I still think at the 200 billion cell count that dry yeast lends uh, like um, a SAF L05 um, you know it lends so much to the beer um, and 80% attenuation um, you know, it's just an incredible yeast so what I've decided to do is I'm going to brew a three gallon partial mash I have not done a partial mash in years but I didn't want to fire up the big boy for this for three gallons it's just no way not happening so I'm going to do a partial mash I'm going to do a three gallon IPA once I have my beer I'm going to mix it up continuously and I'm going to transfer into three separate gallon containers the three gallons so I have equal portions pitch a Safel US 05 yeast in each one of them here's my experiment in one of the gallons is going to be straight dry yeast right to the, the beer in the second one a rehydrated yeast and in the third one a starter using the same yeast so what I've done is I've got a packet of 05 yeast and I'm putting three grams of yeast in each gallon container um, the expected gravity is supposed to be original is supposed to be 1072 we'll see what it is after I brew it um, and then we will pitch the yeast on all three of them we'll let them ferment out we'll get final gravity and then uh, I'll mix it all together and drink it anyways so um, so here's what it's gonna look like uh, right now I've already started um, the yeast starter so let's show that here okay stage one making the yeast starter so I'm uh, getting the yeast warmed up here and uh, We're doing a uh, 500 milliliter starter, and uh, so this will be one phase of the yeast experiment. And I will pitch the yeast and put it on a plate stirrer um, because I'll be making this stuff tomorrow. The actual beer. So there's the yeast starter. Tomorrow evening, which it will be Friday, October 5th, um, I will go ahead and pitch the three, I'll brew the beer and then I'll pitch the yeasts. Um, we'll maintain everything, I'll, I'll have all numbers written down, and we'll just see where this experiment goes. Oh yeah, this brings back memories. Old school. Partial mash brewing. Alright, so we're brewing. I gotta do the, get the yeast. It's in the stir plate for the one batch. And I gotta do another uh, 0.3, or 3 grams rather, of um, 
rehydrated and then three grams of dry in the final batches. So I'm warming the uh, water trying to get it to about 152 and then I'm going to go ahead and steep the grains for 30 minutes and we'll go from there. Alright, grains are steeped. DME ready to go in when it gets to close to boiling and we'll go from there. Does that look familiar? Hops. More hops. All oh, hops. All right, there's the three different styles of yeast. I got the starter, rehydration, straight dry. There they are. These will be going in soon. Okay, there they are. On the left, we'll be going dry, middle, rehydrated, and on the right, the starter. Okay, there they are. We'll zoom in here as close as I can get. There's the starter. You can see it's definitely more full than the other ones. You'd expect it. The rehydrated's there. And I don't know. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't see the yeast sitting on top, but it was. Okay, I'm going to transfer these to the fermentation chamber. We'll monitor the progress. Okay, starter. This is the same time, it's about uh, 12 hours, 13 hours, well, it's about 14 hours later. Um, that's what I would expect from the starter. A uh, very rapid beginning. There's the dry. That was straight dry. No reconstitution, nothing. It's doing very well. And there's the rehydrated. hasn't started really at all this is very very interesting I think it's very interesting so keep an eye on things all right it's about four hours later maybe five the starter starting to go up into the airlock I don't have any tubes so this might make a little bit of a mess but you can see that is uh, going real well. The dry, doing a little bit more than it was. A little more consistent. Uh, not quite the blow, but the crossing is, is definitely forming. And now on the rehydrated, it warmed up a bit, and so now we have some good, um, we got some good crossing going there. We got some activity. So there they are. Three different ones. All right. All right, Monday evening. You're seeing it as I see it. All right, well, we can tell the starter had a little blow off. It's okay, it's still going. I'll have to clean that up. Rehydrated. Looking good. The dry, and that's just my temperature sensor, so I can maintain the temp. The dry is still bubbling. I have yet to see the rehydrated's moving a little bit, and so is the starter. All right, 
So there we are. I got the dry. Crossing still pretty thick. I am not going to test it yet. There's still activity. There's the rehydrated. Has not been seven days. Although the interesting thing is, is it looks like the starter is about done. Uh, the crossing on the starter is definitely um, going down. Uh, whereas this you can still see is pretty high. I mean, it's still up in the neck. This is not in the, well, it's close to the neck and it's dropping, but um, this one, you can see this, this area here is all dry. Um, and you can see there's the beer level. So um, that one's pretty much done. But uh, I'm going to give it a couple more days. So this experiment's not going to make it on time. But uh, that is what it is. This is crossing on the starter. Done. It's uh, the, the crossing's down. That's done. There's no activity going on. Uh, rehydrated. Not quite. Still a little activity going on. And still a little activity going on with the uh, dry. So, all right, another day. I think uh, pretty much everything's done now. There's the dry, rehydrated, and the starter. Get <laughs> some blow off. All right, so. I'm going to watch these just for a sec to see if there's any activity and then I think tomorrow I'll go ahead and do some, um, there's a little activity there. Uh, but I think it may be slow enough that um, in an, uh, tomorrow evening I'll go ahead and take it down and uh, we'll continue. Okay, it's time to transfer. All right, let's take a look at what we got. There's the dry. For viewing purposes, let's go like this. All right, so there's the trub at the bottom of the dry yeast. Next up, we've got the rehydrated yeast, which was rehydrated with just plain water. About the same amount of trub. Starter. This one was done with the starter. It looks more, but it really isn't. In fact, I'm going to go. That's the starter. Rehydrated. Dry. I would say they're pretty equal. Color-wise, starter, rehydrated, dry. All right, reading of the gravity of each one, and uh, we'll check it from there. Well, while we're doing this, I'm going to have... This just came out. Chasing Freshies. It is a fresh hopped IPA from, I uh, gotta go over here, Deschutes Brewery in uh, Bend, Oregon. Let's see if you get a glimpse of that. Like fresh powder. It's a seize the moment thing at harvest. We rush uh, Gashi Farms, Cascade Hops Fresh Farm, uh, or Fresh From Vine to Kettle. Sorry, got it out of the way there. Not any Cascade, mind you, but an heirloom strain from a single field restored from the original rhizome. Hope you're as hopped up as we are. So apparently they're doing, this is a... Uh, an heirloom strain. I think that's one of the originals or the original. Um, I don't know the ABVs on it. I don't know the IBUs. Um, I may look that up. 
but uh, like any fresh hop they definitely recommend this one to be enjoyed by the 27th of December that's just not gonna happen we're trying this bad boy right the hell now about that very ginger pour about a half finger and about a quarter finger head uh, pretty much white interesting I get absolutely no hop smell whatsoever I get um, a malt an alcohol a beer smell I do not get uh, a hop off this hmm all right cheers definitely malty um, the hops are there. Um, it's mild though. It's almost I'm trying to put my foot on it, finger on it, whatever. Um, it's got some warmth to it. It's got kind of a. It's got a lager taste to it. I think. Um, I would. Uh, I wouldn't go nuts over it. I wouldn't um, probably buy it again. Um, I would say I would give it a B minus. Okay, that's the first vial. That is the starter. But, ooh, I'm gonna make a mess. What's new? All right, so that finished. It's about 10, 16. About 10, 16 is the starter. Be right back. Okay, this is the rehydrated see what we got here this looks to be about this one looks more like about 1020 1019 okay and now the dry. And this one looks like it is about it is also ooh, it looks like it's sitting at about 1015. <clears throat> I will post these numbers. <clears throat> 